Welcome, my dear students. In the number, radius of curvature, my bend the petta, see the problems are now we'll discuss here. So, problem is prove that the radius of curvature, RC and the radius of curvature, near the short form here, the other of catenary. Catenary in the problem, we curve y is equal to c cos h, x by c, cos h and all the hyperbolic function. So, catenary in the problem function, the curve in the function. Itha. So, the radius of curvature of the catenary varies as the square of the ordinate. So, radius of curvature, uh, square of the ordinate. Ordinate in the chha, y coordinate in the lana, the y the value it in the square and a dependy in the lana, prove it. So, we have a function and a catenary. This is the y in the terms. In the radius of curvature, the radius of curvature ordinate is the y coordinate. This is the square in the dependent. This is the number of the So, we the radius of curvature equation. The radius of curvature equation. Radius of curvature in the bar another rho should be equal to one plus dy by dx the whole square the whole trace to three by two divided by d square y by dx square. It is the radius of curvature on the equation which are so you put an order value contributing. You put a thunder tunda y in the power another c cos h x by c either cos h x by c and which are cos h and which are hyperbolic functional so and the derivative dy by dx are the so dy by dx should be equal to derivative of c cos h x by c so c constant on cos h x by c the derivative sin h x by c okay into in x by c derivative karnam. x by c derivative 1 by c okay x in the derivative 1 into constant 1 by c so 1 into 1 by c in the so it is in the namaka clearly namaka once the album you would have a c you would have a c you know we cancel it the so the answer becomes sin h x by c in it so, if you square the decomposed, d square y by dx square the decomposed, sin h square x by c. And we have a second derivative, d square y by dx square. d square y by dx square, which is sin h x by c derivative. Sin h x by c derivative in the power of the number of the power cos h x by c into 1 by c. So, the answer becomes 1 by c into cos h x by c okay now we have two derivatives we have to numerator in the term 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the numerator in the term so we have to do that term okay so 1 plus dy by dx the whole square we should be equal to 1 plus dy by dx on the sin h x by c and the square that is called sin h square x by c in root and then the answer cos h square x by c on karana some good relation under cos h square y minus sin h square y should be equal to 1 and the power in the relation nama kund a relation which it on a number of other okay here relation that at the cos h square y should be equal to 1 plus sin h square by in the relation cos you to modify that it to either 1 plus sin h square x by c but a wider sign of x by c i may all over you know in that in the angle when i will tend to real number you know so 1 plus sin h square x by c keep on a cos h square x by c and number substitution chain so number to be under the lama i a number equation that are total substitution matter so the law should be equal to number the 1 plus dy by dx the whole square and by the number cos h square x by c the whole trace to 3 by 2 under divided by 1 by c into cos h x by c karana adana number of form either cos h x by c into 1 by c and d square y by dx square 
So, it is in two, two cancel the galagan, power two, it is one by two cancel the galagan, answer cos h cube x by c and it divided by one by c into cos h x by c and it. If it is the factor cancel the galaga, e c numerator will go. So, the answer becomes c into cos h square x by c and it. Okay, either Namaka y the form of a matam. Namakaria, it is in a wooden and a clear right to Namaka Mansa and the Gajana. Y, y is equal to C cos h x by C. It is in a Namaka y by C should be equal to cos h x by C. Nilda. Okay, about a cos h square x by C and other in a square, yana, which implies y square by c square should be equal to cos h square x by c. So, if you cos h square x by c, y square by c square is substitution. So, we should be equal to c into y square by c square. So, you see, can say, I can say, rho should be equal to 1 by c into y square. Okay. So, this is format. Okay. Rho should be equal to 1 by c into y square. That is rho nulla y square. Y is the ordinate. So, we generally clear that we establish the radius of curvature. The square of the ordinate. Ordinate is the square. We have to say that the ordinate is the radius of curvature should be equal to 1 by c into y square. So, we have to establish the square. That is y square. Okay? So, I hope you understood. Thank you.